Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I just wanted to do a quick comparison. The Latte Panda versus the Up Board. Now there are several factors when we're looking at both of these. The Latte Panda will run Android x86 and Windows 10. It'll run an old version of Ubuntu, but the Up Board will run Windows 10, Android x86, and Ubuntu 16.04. So the Latte Panda runs the Intel Atom Z8300 at 1.4 GHz. It will turbo up to 1.8 under load. The Upboard runs the Intel Atom Z8350 at 1.4 GHz, and the turbo speed will go up to 1.9. So the Latte Panda does come with built-in Wi-Fi and built-in Bluetooth. It also has Arduino built-in, the Arduino pinout, as an audio jack and a micro SD card slot. It's also powered by a micro USB power adapter. It has two USB 2.0 ports and one USB 3.0 port. Has a display connector, touch connector, HDMI, all the bells and whistles of a single board computer built into the Latte Panda. So when we look at the upboard, it does not have built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It doesn't have a micro SD card slot or an audio jack. Now the only thing I'm really missing on this upboard is the audio jack. I really wish it had one. It does have the same 40 pin GP bus as the Raspberry Pi, so a lot of the hats will work with that. Uses a barrel jack for power, HDMI. It does have four USB 2.0 ports and a USB 3.0 OTG connector, so you can use an OTG cable for this. It does have display connectors for touch and everything. It also has a battery or a BIOS battery to save the settings from your BIOS. Now, I love the Upboard and I like the Latte Panda. Even with the missing features, I prefer the Upboard myself. And the big reason is I have been able to get a lot of operating systems running on this board that I could not get running on the Latte Panda due to the BIOS. Next thing we'll have to consider is the price. So the basic upboard has 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of onboard storage for $99. Keep in mind that depending on where you are in the world, you'll have to add the VAT tax and shipping. So both of these boards can actually get pretty pricey. The Latte Panda with 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard storage with a Windows 10 license is 109. Keep in mind that VAT tax and shipping also, guys. But you can get the Latte Panda without Windows. It does not come with a Windows license or pre-installed for $79. Two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, 79 bucks. Has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi built on, and Arduino. The best Latte Panda will set you back $139 US dollars plus VAT and shipping. This has four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of onboard storage without a Windows 10 license. The best upboard option you can get here is $149. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of onboard eMMC storage. Keep in mind, this does not come with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, but Bluetooth and Wi-Fi dongles are very, very cheap nowadays, like $3 on eBay or Amazon. Um, what I did was I ran a few benchmarks on these boards, on both boards. I ran 3 Mark, SunSpider, and Octane Benchmark. I have the 4 gigabyte model with 32 gigabytes of RAM on the upboard, and I only have the 2 gigabyte model with 32 gigabytes of RAM on the Latte Panda. So keep that in mind. I set the GPU memory to 256 megabytes on both of these boards. Now, my upboard does have an advantage because it has 2 gigabytes of extra RAM built in. But these boards perform very, very similar. Uh, I did run a cooler or an active cooler on both of these, and I'll show you that now. So I made a little stand for my Latte Panda out of an old Wii uh, remote holder. I have a fan pointing on the CPU. Both of these units do not throttle when they reach temperature. The fan keeps it plenty cool. The upboard does have the active heatsink cooler that the upboard company sells. It does keep it a bit cooler, but both of these do not throttle. The first test I ran was 3D Mark Skydiver. With the Latte Panda, we scored an 808 and the upboard a 947. The upboard has two more gigabytes of RAM. Cloudgate, 1464 on the Latte Panda and 1769 on the upboard. 
Ice Storm Extreme, 10,525 on the Latte Panda, and 12,908 on the Upboard. Now this is Sun Spider. This is where it got a little weird. I ran all of these tests three times. The Latte Panda actually scored better than the Upboard. Lower is better. The last test I ran was Octane. Higher is better in this score. And the Latte Panda actually outperformed the Upboard by a decent amount, by 2,000 points with an Octane. Now, given these last two tests, SunSpider and Octane are browser-based JavaScript benchmarks. It does take hardware to run this, though. The Latte Panda seemed to perform better with JavaScript. I'm not sure why, but the Upboard was lacking on both of these last tests. I believe that both of these boards would have scored the same within 3D Mark if they both had the same amount of RAM. My Latte Panda is the 2GB model and my Upboard is the 4GB model. So the Upboard does have an advantage here. Another thing to keep in mind is since I have the 2GB model of the Latte Panda, I'm only able to run Windows 10 32-bit and on the Upboard I'm running Windows 10 64-bit. So it really comes down to price and personal preference here. If you want Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, go with the Latte Panda. If you don't mind not having that and you want a smaller footprint, the Upboard is the way to go. Now, I love the Upboard. I'd rather use the Upboard over the Latte Panda. And like I said before, the biggest reason is I can run Ubuntu 16.04 no problem at all. I cannot even get it to boot on the Latte Panda. So, I mean, that was just a real quick overview of both of these, kind of um, just showing you guys my experience with both of these boards. I love the Upboard, and I like the Latte Panda, but I would rather use the Upboard. I know it's more expensive, but when you run into compatibility issues with the Latte Panda, there's not much you can do if you're trying to install an operating system that doesn't work. It's better to spend that extra cash if you want to run that operating system on a board that will run it. It's really due to the BIOS right now. I have contacted Latte Panda and they said they've been working on a new BIOS update, but it uses a 32-bit UEFI BIOS with the Latte Panda, which is kind of odd because a lot of these newer operating systems will only function with a 64-bit UEFI BIOS. There's a lot to go into these guys. I mean, it's really up to you. Whichever one you think is better, whichever one you think is a better deal, that's the one you should get. The Latte Panda is great, and the Upboard is pretty awesome too. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Like always, thanks for watching.